Hey everybody, welcome back to Peachy Disc Golf today. I'm going to be heading to Chattahoochee Point Park in order to play a nine hole challenge using Innova's strangest disc to date, the Alien. All right, so the Alien is Innova's newest release. It's listed as a multi-purpose disc. Its numbers are 4201. I would classify that as either a mid-range or an approach disc, but the strangest thing about this disc is the profile. So just look at this disc profile. Like, apparently it has the top of a Sonic, which is a disc I've never thrown before, but the bottom of a mid-range. So at first glance, I was like, this disc is gonna be horrible feeling but honestly if i'm holding it in a power grip like this it's pretty comfortable in the hand i really actually think it feels great now it's a completely different story when i switch to my putt or even a fan grip because you can sort of see the flight plate does have that like indent where the the dome here is i don't know this like elevated portion so when i'm putting my putt and my fan grip are similar and my fingers are resting on a like different plane <laughs> than it's used to, it feels very strange in the hand for, for that type of grip. But in power grip, it actually feels pretty comfortable. So we have two aliens here. I have one in this Nexus plastic, which is similar to like a baseline DX plastic, but I think a little bit more durability. I really like the way Innova branded their discs in this Nexus plastic. And I think their XT plastics do this type of branding as well. I think this design looks really clean. I wish they would have done this for either their Champion or their Star Plastic discs. So we have it in Nexus Plastic and we have it in Star Plastic as well here, this pink one. In Star Plastic, it feels pretty interesting. It's got like, it almost feels squishy just because of the way the, the disc is shaped. It's really gummy. Interested to try it out in two different plastics. We'll see if there's any difference in flight. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna head out to Chattahoochee Point Park. We're gonna play nine holes, the front nine, and I'm gonna basically alternate. So we're gonna start off with the Nexus Alien on hole one. Then we'll go to hole two with the star plastic and then so on and so forth, continuing on through all of the holes. And let's go see how these discs fly. All right, we're kicking things off here. Hole one, 180 feet, par three. Basket is down the left fairway. We're gonna take the Nexus Alien to start off with. Throw it down the right fairway and we'll see if it fades back to the basket. Little fade. Oh. Nice skip, I think uh, 15 feet, maybe 10 feet. Real quick, try the star on a little turnover. See how well it holds. Ooh, that's nice. Definitely has a little fade. It's definitely decently overstable, but it held that turnover most of the way. It was a pretty nice flight. That star alien landed maybe 10 feet from the basket probably 15 feet here with the Nexus Alien. I went a little long actually, not by much. But let's see, can we get a birdie to start off with? Ooh, just barely, geez. This feels really awkward in the hand for putting. Oh, wow, really cool butterfly on the basket. Nature appreciation moment. This, I think it was actually on the chains when I putt too and it was not annoyed, no chains needed. Hole two, 360 feet, par four, wide open shot here. Pretty manageable even with the alien, I think. We're taking the star alien on this hole. I'm gonna put a little turnover around the left side of this first tree. Just try to get it as far down the fairway as I can. Oh, a little slip. Oh, geez. Okay, still on the fairway, but just barely. Let's see how I would have done if I used the hyzer, try it with the Nexus alien here. Hides around the right side of the tree. Pretty nice. Both of those throws actually ended up going pretty much the same distance here. Going from the first throw star, alien here. This I think is actually where this disc excels. This is like a pretty straightforward approach. Try to get it close for a tap in. Oh yeah, into the hill. That is a little shorter than I wanted. All right, got a little tester here on the hill. Maybe 15 feet. Putting with this feels really awkward. Oh, that was close. But I don't expect to make any highlight putts with this today. Hole three, 240 feet, par three. Basket straight ahead over here, pretty open throw. 
a little bit off to the right here. So I'm gonna take the Nexus Alien, put a little Anheuser, hopefully it tracks to the basket. It might fade out early. That'll probably leave me a circle's edge putt, which I'll promptly miss. Okay, that's a bit short. I think I'm circle's edge. Dang. Hole four, 780 feet, par five. Going with this star alien here, I'm fully expecting to take a bogey here. Honestly, if I make it through these two initial gaps off the tee, I will be so happy, but I don't even think I'm gonna make it past the second gap with this, but we'll see. Oh, that actually had pretty solid distance. I did make it through both gaps. I put a little Anheuser on it. That was not intentional, uh, but it worked out because it fought out of it at the end of the flight, faded towards the middle of the fairway. So honestly, very happy with that. Pretty much the game plan all the way to the pins, throwing this as hard as we can. Nice. All right, I really just need to not mess this throw up because uh, then I can get a par, which I'll be very happy with on this hole. I definitely thought I was gonna get a bogey. I am gonna put a little Anheuser on this one though. I do have to sort of bend around this tree right in front of me. <clears throat> Too much Anheuser, I think. No, it's gonna be okay. We should have a little chip approach there and hopefully we'll get a par, that'll be sick. I think I'm only five feet from there. Honestly, I'm really enjoying this a lot more than I thought. Like putting with it, no, no chance. But throwing it has been a pretty enjoyable experience. It's really comfortable in the hands. It has a great flight. It's got that sneaky stability. I don't know though. I mean, it's listed as a two glide, but I feel like this stays in the air a lot. Hole five is a 200 foot tunnel shot par three. A Little bit of left to right movement here. So luckily we're using the Nexus alien here. Put it on a little Anheuser. Hopefully it tracks towards the basket. I really just don't want to end up too far onto the left in the ditch. Oh, that's going to fade out early. Oh, that was so lucky. Oh my God, that was going down the ditch. Just outside a circle putt here. Oh, let's go. Nice birdie. Hole six is 235 feet par three, wide open shot here. This is sort of the sweet spot of distances for me for mid ranges, so it's gonna be really telling for the alien. If I can get this close, then I'm really gonna be liking this disc. I do need to give it some height though. My guess though is that this is gonna come up a bit short, but we'll see. That's a pretty good throw, but it is pretty short. I think I'm like 25 feet there, maybe circle's edge. Let's try the Nexus as well, just to see if I can get it a little closer. That one I threw nose up. That's way short. Just like I thought, the alien came up short. My Nexus throw actually is a little was a little better than I expected. So if I would have kept the nose down, maybe I would have like a 10 foot putt. But from here, we're outside the circle, just barely. So let's see, do we get another? Sweet circle two step putt. Oh my God, two for two, let's go. Maybe I do need this disc for putting. Wait, what the heck, can I do it again? Right here. Oh my, what the heck. <laughs> it does, on Innova's website, it does say that this is good for long putts. <laughs> Hole seven, 255 feet, par three. Just have to make it through this initial gap. We're going with the Nexus Alien here. I don't expect to get close, but maybe we'll get close enough for another circle two jump putt. I threw that way too wide. Oh God, that's gonna be in the tall grass. <laughs> Good distance though, honestly. This putt is very far, but this throw went a lot better than I expected because I really thought I was gonna be well short. But if I would have had this in line, I could have potentially been left with like a 10, 15 footer, which would have been pretty solid on this hole in my opinion. But here we are though, threw it way too wide. Really slanty basket. 
no. All right, well, we got a par. Hole eight's 215 feet, par three. Pretty good hole for the alien, I think. We're going with the star alien here. I'm just gonna be throwing it out to the right, but trying to keep it low so I don't get too tangled in the branches on that big tree on the right there. That looks great. Go in. Oh, just short. I thought that had a chance, but I was a good deal short, like five feet, but still nice to get a tap and birdie for once. So we're doing all right. One hole left, easiest hole in the course. Let's get it. Last hole for the day, hole nine, 180 feet, par three, wide open here, basket right there. We're gonna be throwing both aliens. We'll start with the Nexus. That's gonna be two left, but that's the right distance there. Pin high. Let's see, can we make the correction with the star? They're just a little wider. That's gonna be real close. Yep, right under the basket there. The star alien right at the pole, easy birdie. Left a little work here with the Nexus. Normally I would say this is a pretty easy make, but not with this alien though. All righty, what a way to finish. Nice birdies with both aliens. I'll give you my final thoughts though, back at home. So I am back after testing out the Innova alien. And I have to say, at first I thought this was gonna be like a joke disc, but it actually has a pretty nice flight. I ended up really liking this disc, especially in certain situations. Off the tee, it felt great. I was able to get pretty good distance out of it. Uh, not quite as much as like a normal mid-range would be for me, but it, it does actually feel more like an approach disc actually, similar to like a zone or like an A5 or something, but just with less over stability. So if you need something in between like your throwing putter and then your standard mid-range, the Alien honestly might be a pretty good option. It is listed as a two glide, but I found that this stays in the air pretty nicely. I haven't watched the footage yet, but when I felt like when I was throwing it, it, it has like more glide than what's listed. It doesn't just fall out of the sky or anything like that, but I really ended up enjoying this disc and I really liked it in both plastics as well. Like they both feel nice in the hand. It's again for power grip, very comfortable. I have really enjoyed throwing it. It has a really nice flight as well. It's just nice and straight for most of the flight, but it does have that sneaky little bit of stability at the end, even on Anheuser, especially with the star plastic one, if I'm throwing it uh, on Anheuser, it would still fight out of it. Whereas if I use this Nexus one and I threw it hard on Anheuser, it sort of held that angle for pretty much the entire flight. But if you throw it soft on Anheuser, it's going to fight out and fade to the left. And if you throw it straight, it's just going to carry nice and straight for pretty much the entire flight until the very end where it's going to have a gentle little fade at the, at the finish. And Overall, I was actually really impressed with this disc. I don't think it's going in the bag for me personally because I don't really know where I would fit that in. I would rather personally just throw a throwing putter or throw just a mid-range a little bit softer, but this disc is really nice. <laughs> I did really like it. So that's gonna be it for this episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't, I would greatly appreciate it if you consider subscribing to the channel. If you enjoyed watching this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and ring that notification bell so you can be notified when our next episode comes out. Until next time, guys. Cheers.